If we say, well, it's not one guy on the basketball court, it's three of his buddies that stand up behind him. Well, that'll push it over a little bit for anybody because now you're not fighting one guy, you're fighting three, and you can take all of them individually. And then, in fact, well, it's not three, it's his whole team of five plus the bench, and now you're over here. And you turn around to your buddies, and all you're seeing are assholes and elbows, essentially. They're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, pardon my friends, sorry. But, so, so now your anxiety is over here, all right? And now, by the way, all five of these guys that you're going to have a fight with on the basketball court run over and, um, and drag out uh, bicycle chains from their gear bags, right? So now we're over here, because you're fighting five guys with bicycle chains, no help. And, okay, and you just sprained your ankle on the last play, which is what started the whole deal anyway, so you're injured. At some point... Holy smokes, Jiminy Christmas, I'm going to pass the point where I become fearful, okay? And that happens right here. Happens to anybody if you push them circumstantially along far enough. The level of their training, their background, how seriously do they take themselves in their training, decides at what point on this scale they would actually become fearful, okay? And by the way, it is at that moment where you make the transition from the cortex down to the limbic system. You with me? Mm -hmm. Good luck getting back. It ain't easy. All right? Now, the only, the one thing that will surely accelerate this transition from anxiety to fear is for, and this is very important for students that train at self-defense level, for, in my opinion, for you instructors, is that this transition will happen if the activity or the attack, whatever you call it, comes on with suddenness if it is unexpected. Hmm. Because any to the blind, all things are sudden. If you don't see it coming, before you know it, you're in it, right? So there's no time to prepare. There's no time to get your stance, hike up your pants, all that kind of stuff. You're just getting grabbed from behind. So when that happens, the transition's over here. They've had very little time to become anxious, get ready, bang, before they're over here. How do we push this back over through training? We create realistic situations. 